Obama visited Saudi Arabia last week, and like any good guest, he sent ahead a little gift. This week, nine detainees are free from Gitmo and sent to Saudi Arabia. Should we be freeing the suspects, some listed as high risk in the United States, to a nation that could have deep terror ties? Look, you terror panic wind-up toy. When the U.S. decides to free prisoners, we have to send them somewhere. They can't just disappear offshore like taxable income. <laughs> of the 80 prisoners remaining at Gitmo, 26 have been cleared for release, but can't leave until a country agrees to take them, which is even more depressing than that kid in your after-school program whose parents always forgot to pick him up. <laughs> yeah. Ten prisoners are going to be tried by military commissions, and the remaining 44 are still being detained without charges, some of them after 15 years. They won't get out anytime soon unless the Taliban has a shitload more Bo Berg dolls to trade. I went to Germany to talk to one of the lucky Gitmo alumni who had a country willing to accept him after the U.S. decided, oops, we had the wrong guy all along, sorry. Um, except for the part where we said sorry. We didn't. <laughs> The Guantanamo Bay Detention Facility opened months after 9-11 and has been a prized source of national embarrassment ever since. Fortunately, President Obama has been working tirelessly to shut it down. I will close Guantanamo. I intend to close Guantanamo. I have ordered the prison at Guantanamo Bay closed. The department is submitting to Congress our plan for finally closing the facility at Guantanamo once and for all. Great! What's the plan? We're going to work with Congress to find a secure location in the United States to hold remaining detainees. What? This is the best our black Muslim president can do? Turn Guantanamo into Guantanamo North? What happened to all that talk about habeas corpus and due process and those adorable American ideas that say no matter how shitty you are, you have the right to a lawyer and a fair trial, even if you totally killed that woman in the auto junkyard? I flew to the comedy capital of the world, Germany, to hear a cautionary tale about what happens when we don't afford someone due process of law. I figured an interrogation room would make this ex-Guantanamo detainee feel most comfortable. Why are you here? Because you asked me to be here, and I have watched your TV show. Oh, what'd you think? You talk very fast. I'm really fired up. <sighs> You'll find out. Meet Murat Kurnaz, who was born in Germany and who traveled to Pakistan to learn about Islam a month after 9-11 on a poorly timed fast prey prey trip. Let's start with the most important question. Were you a terrorist? No, I am not. In the months after 9-11, the U.S. swept up young men who they believed may have a link to terrorism. Murat was one of them. The government claimed to have intel linking Murat to a suicide bomber who blew himself up in Istanbul. Except... He never did suicide bombing. It was just a big lie. He still lives with his family in Germany. So he is the worst suicide bomber in the world. Yes. The CIA, FBI, DOD, and Guantanamo's Joint Task Force all agree that Murat was not a threat to the United States. I mean, this guy is so innocent, Germany made a TV movie about his innocence. Starring Germany's answer to Anderson Cooper. <laughs> Murat was then taken to Kandahar military base. They tortured me by waterboarding, electroshocks, and uh, hanging on chains for many days. During hanging on the chain, they brought me a couple times uh, apple. Well, you know what they say, an apple a day gives you just enough strength to withstand more torture. Something like that. <sighs> Several months later, he was put on a flight to Guantanamo Bay, where he underwent some first-rate, lawyerless interrogations. What were the interrogations like? It was very stupid. They asked me if I have seen Osama bin Laden. I've seen Osama bin Laden. If I know where is Osama bin Laden. Do you know where Osama bin Laden is? If I know somebody who knows where Osama bin Laden could be. Do you know someone who knows where Osama bin Laden could be? And if I know who ever worked with Osama bin Laden together. Sometimes they came with, uh, with a blue Pepsi and said, I brought you blue Pepsi, are you going to talk now? So their technique was to ask you the same five questions over five years with the occasional Pepsi. I said, no, I don't want your Pepsi. And she said, what, I brought you blue Pepsi and you don't want it? And she was really surprised that I'm not gonna talk uh, for that Pepsi. Pepsi Blue, the choice of outlandishly inept government interrogators since 2002. Quench your thirst with the berry-flavored blood of a thousand Smurfs. The Pepsi company has no official association with any U.S. government agency. No Smurfs are harmed in the making of Pepsi Blue. 
months into his stay at Guantanamo, the government decided Murat could be released, which is exactly what we did not do until Angela Merkel literally made us hand him over. When they figured out that you were innocent... They still told me for not signing the papers. They want me to agree that I am a member of Al-Qaeda. So they knew that you were not guilty, but they continued to torture you to get you to sign the paper stating that you were guilty. I saw the Americans will do everything by the rules, and as soon as they find out that I'm innocent, they will send me home. So you were happy when you saw the Americans because you thought that they followed the laws and that they would determine your innocence and let you go home to Germany? Yes. Why did you think that Americans would follow the laws? Because uh, I used to watch a lot of Hollywood movies. You've never watched 24 before? What is 24? Oh, okay. If you had seen it, you would know what I'm talking about. But for those of us who don't want to live in a fantasy land where actionable intelligence is obtained one earlobe at a time, Marat has a very American solution. Guantanamo needs to be shut down. Who is innocent goes back home, who is guilty goes to the jail. Hell, we let the courts deal with these assholes, we can certainly handle a few more. Right, guys? I think Guantanamo detainees should be in Guantanamo. Every last one of them can rot in hell. But as long as they don't do that, then they can rot in Guantanamo Bay. Which, by the way, we are keeping open. And we're going to load it up with some bad dudes, believe me. We're going to load it up. Yeah, load it up with some bad dudes. Or some not-so-bad dudes. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. Good. We'll be right back. <laughs> 